All right, what's going on everyone? Captain here, back with another Marvel Contest Champions video. Today, we get the rewards for Alliance War Season 20. Did I, did I, I can't remember if I had that correct or not. I said it in the last video and let's see, Season 20. Okay, yes it is, I thought so. So, we have the rewards here uh, to Loki. This was my first Alliance War season since, oh gosh, since like March. So I don't even know what season we were in then, but uh, so this is my first time back. A lot has changed since then. So I had a bit of a rough patch at the beginning, uh, but toward the end, I was starting to feel a little bit more comfortable and getting back into it, remembering to use boosts and fully read notes. That It really helps when you do it that way. Uh, so yeah, so we placed in uh, Platinum 3, rank 150. So nothing super special, nothing super high. We were trying to do our best as much as possible, um, and uh, obviously, you know, Platinum 3 didn't rank insanely high, but hey, it's still not not too bad, so we're getting some good rewards here. So shout out to all the uh, members in 2 Loki, guys. Next, Maybe next season we'll push a little bit harder and uh, get up to Plat 2, maybe Plat 1. Who knows what'll happen? But we've got some juicy, juicy rewards to open. I've finished Cavalier Difficulty. I've done a lot of the side quest, side quest, the mutant one. So I've collected a lot of shards and everything. Got a lot to open, including a good amount of T5 class catalyst fragments. So those will be the big thing we open up at the end. Also, shout out to Kenobi, ASR, and for Loki, for Loki fellow uh loki family shout out to them guys super awesome to see them getting up into top three and all my boys over in the lions over there um super happy for you guys so let's go over to the inventory before we get into all the crystals and we'll show where my t5 class catalysts are sitting right now so nope come on there we go so we have one science and one mystic we already used one mist, or, or sorry, one science on my Captain America Infinity War. So we don't really want to see any science when we get to that. Just uh, obviously this is a little, we're going to do this, open the crystals later, but I figured I'd just go over these now at the beginning in case I forget at the end. Uh, so cosmic guys is what we want the most. We'll want to form that cosmic tech. We are sadly really, really far away from, and we have that six star warlock. So we would love to get that. Mutant is actually an interesting one. I do have the red magneto as a six star and with his recent buff i've been thinking he might be worth taking up to uh, a rank three so that would be a pretty good secondary choice i think right now because i doubt i'm going to get enough to film the five star so if i don't get cosmic i want to get mutant but cosmic is the main pull because obviously we want to get that corvus to rank five or rank three i guess i should probably claim the rewards here so let's go ahead and hit claim there and there we go. So we have a lot to open. So first off, I'll start with kind of the smaller stuff, the stuff that's not as important. Uh, I think I have a five-star awakening gem. Yes, I got five-star. This was from the Mutant Treasure Island, I think is what it's called or something like that. We're just gonna straight pop this, you know? Skill, what else did you expect? How many of those do we have now? Are we back up to four? I think we're back up to four. Yep, we're back up to four. Awesome. <laughs> I I can never get enough of these guys, man. Oh my gosh. This, if that's a sign for how this opening, this whole video is going to go, I'm not going to be happy. Not how you want to start it off. Uh, but let's see. Do we have anything else over here? Other so you can see I've got three of the T, uh, the T5 10 percents, which some of those are from the uh, Cavalier difficulty, and then also from Alliance Quest, and then nine of the two percents. So. Good chance to get Cosmic. Uh, so yeah, we'll get to that in just a little bit though. So I don't think I have anything else on this screen here that we're gonna be opening. I do have some six star six stones, but that's nothing too exciting. So let's go ahead, hop over to shards. So this is what we're gonna do. We did get the five star featured crystal from the Treasure Island, the uh, third difficulty. So what we want from this is we want to awaken Red Guardian and my sign popped up again. It keeps turning it on and off. I haven't looked into it to figure out why it does this, so it might go on and off throughout the video, so just ignore it. Um, well, don't ignore it, check it out, it's awesome. But here we go, let's get this feature going. We want to dupe Red Guardian or Sorcerer Supreme would be a number two option here. 
but red guardian is mainly who we want if we can awaken him then we'll probably just go basic crystals um for the seventy thousand five star shards i have so let's go come on come on red guardian where are you at gwenpool okay that's actually new i've never had a five star gwenpool believe it or not uh so okay i'm not mad about that a character i've always always loved and now i have four skill awakening gems so honestly i'm probably just going to use one on her because why not oh forgot to put my phone on do not disturb there we go all right um there we go with the five star gwenpool now the decision comes do we do a couple more featured and try to get that red guardian dupe or do we just go with the basics i think i think i'm gonna try my luck with one more featured at least just one and then oh, maybe two <laughs> we might do two i don't know we'll see let's go ahead spin this first one and see what happens we're just gonna buy it one at a time because just in case i get that red guardian because he is a fantastic character but needs that awakened ability and i don't have any science awakening gems so i would have really liked if i'd gotten that from that crystal earlier we would have been fine you know i wouldn't have had to open this but here we are so stopping this on a version of the hood and that is nothing we want to do and i think we're gonna call it quits there on the features because that one just that's no that's no good okay so we have five now five five stars regular so now what we're looking out of this from this basic is mainly i mean it actually is red guardian even he might even be in here too as well so we could get super lucky and get him there uh but namor 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 we really want to get that guy uh, so let's go ahead stop these fast because we got some other crystals to get to and I don't want to make this video super long for you guys So here we go with the first basic and we are landing on invisible woman. Okay, uh, that is a I believe that's a first awakening And yes, it is. Okay, so she's the only fantastic four member No, I think I have I don't have mr. Fantastic as a five star. That's who it is um, <clears throat> but I have him as a six star so yeah, I have them all as five or six stars, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but that's the first awakening on Invisible Woman. Um, not sure if I'm ever going to really do anything with her. In my opinion, she probably is the third or fourth worst one of the four. So, <laughs> oh, dang it. I thought we were actually just about to awaken Gwenpool, and I was about to be like, dang it, now I, I don't have uh, a use for that skill awakening gem anymore. But we didn't, so we still have a use for the awakening gem. Uh, and that is a storm. I, I didn't see the sig level, but pretty sure that wasn't a first time awakening. So yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, here we go with crystal number three. Come on, and we are, oh, come on. Give me the X23, another character I don't have as a five star, but we're getting ourselves Venom Pool more six. Also, guys, I wanted to mention that I am taking part in the current Incursions tournament. I'm not sure what the official title or what they're going with for this one, uh, but they've been doing them for a couple months now, and a bunch of other YouTubers have been part of it. And I was asked to join it this time if I wanted to, and I said, "Yeah, sure." I don't do Incursions much, but hey, I'll be down to do it. My teammate is going to be the one and only Dooley Ray, a good friend of the channel. Uh, so it'll be fun to hang out with that guy. And I just noticed the sign turned off again. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be streaming. I believe we agreed on Saturday, this upcoming Saturday, uh, sometime in the afternoon. So I'll try to post something on Twitter or something, giving an official time. So if you don't follow me already on Twitter, head over there now. But it'll be me and Dooley Ray taking on incursions in the tournament. So it should be a fun time to hang out with him and hopefully all of you and here we go getting ourselves a howard the duck so far guys these alliance war season rewards are not being generous to me but it's just the five stars so we're saving all that luck for those six stars that that's what i'm telling myself yeah that's what we're gonna go with all right final five star and then we have again a decision to make with the six stars i have enough to go with a featured and a basic and i'm, I'm actually leaning toward that because the feature pool isn't terrible and oh that would have been a max sig crystal for captain marvel but instead we're getting captain america and taking him to sig 80. 
Uh, I don't know which one's higher, my five star or my six star Captain America. I think I have, I think my six star might be six sixty or forty. But there we go. So nothing super great there, except the I guess the awaken ability on Invisible Woman. It's it's something. But all right, now it is time for the five star. I'm gonna go with the basic first, I think. I've got some grandmasters. Let's just pop these real quick and while we're while I let myself think about it, just just a minute longer if I want to actually go for a featured. Uh, come on, show me a five star. Nope. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go basic six star and then the featured six star. So let's start it out with the basic. From the basic, we would love to awaken the Magneto. That's one of the reasons why I want to go for the featured because I believe. The red Magneto is uh, available in the six star featured. So if we could awaken him here, then we maybe just go for a basic again. I don't know. Um, also, though, we'd love to awaken Warlock, of course, pull someone like a Nick Fury or a Doctor Doom, of course. Uh, it wouldn't be the worst thing to get here. So we've got the six star on the spinner. Let's go ahead and stop it now. Who is it gonna be? There's the red Magneto right there. And, oh, okay, I thought it was actually gonna be Stealth Spidey, but it rolled over to Night Thrash, which I'm actually more excited about because I already have uh, Stealth Spidey maxed out, and honestly, I barely use him. Um, kind of one of my rank ups I almost regret because at the time, I thought I was doing it for Prestige, but then once I did it, I realized like he's actually not gonna help my Prestige that much. <laughs> so, kind of sucks, but he, he is a good champion. But here we go with Night Thrasher. I, I low-key really like Night Thrasher. I, I'm pretty sure he needs to be awakened though to be super useful, but in my opinion, he's a very underrated character in the game, has probably the best and easiest evade and auto block counter. Basically just any attack he hits with the uh, skateboard can't be evaded, and that's his both medium attacks and pretty much all of his special attacks and his heavy attack. So yeah, really good evade counter. And uh, it's one I've always wanted to take up as a five star, but never have pulled the trigger. So there we go, we have the six star now. So that's, that's pretty good. Let's look at the six star pool for this featured real quick. And we got Magneto, who we'd like to get. Archangel is a six star. Oh, I forgot Archangel's in there. Archangel is a six star, guys. That's insane. I haven't seen any gameplay of that yet. I forgot about that. Okay, and then Hitmonkey would be awesome. Uh, we could get Red Guardian here. I mean, <laughs> that wouldn't be terrible. All right, we're going to do it. I hit it. But honestly, I think Red Magneto is probably the number one option here because I do, because I'm close to getting a T5 or T, T uh, yeah, T5 class catalyst fragment. And uh, so if we could get him here awakened, then that would just make my decision for my next rank three super easy, uh, or at least for my first mutant one. Um, all right, come on, Red, or regular Guardian, so it's Guardian and Red Guardian, both great characters, would love to get both of them. Uh, let's go ahead and stop it, and what are we gonna get? There's Archangel, not Ronin, don't want that. Keep going, keep going, not Red Hulk, no! Shield, because a six star would have been good. I would have liked that way better than Red Hulk. Ah, oh, man, okay, well, yeah, that's not really doing anything for me. I, I mean, he's a good, he's a solid, solid ca character, but not anyone I'm taking to rank three. So that's a bummer, but that's how it goes. So now it is time to get into the T5 class catalyst fragments. The big moment, guys. Let's go ahead and do these 2%. I got nine of these. I think I'm just going to pop them. I'm just going to pop them. Let's do it. Pop. And there's some cosmic. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get enough. I think it was asking too much. I don't, I don't actually. I guess maybe that's why I can. If I, I need all three of these ten percent. I'm pretty sure to be cosmic. I actually thought I was adding, adding more. I guess two percent. I was underestimating how much two percent is. But here we go with the three percent. Let's go ahead and spin these ones out. Let's spin them out. Why not? We'll spin the first one at least, maybe pop the last one or something. And there is, of course, science. The game knows, guys. The game 
knows. I think it honestly, I think the game has mine and Legacy's accounts mixed up because he needs science and I need cosmic. He keeps getting cosmic and I keep getting science. So, Kabam, can you please figure that out? Flip the switch on that and help us out. And there we go. There is some cosmic though. That is great. There's 10%. Gets us just a little bit closer. Uh, so up to 37. Come on, last one. I didn't pop it like I said I was going to, <laughs> but oh well. Come on, please, cosmic again. Just double cosmic at least. That'll be, oh, so close. Come on, here we go, here we go. Cosmic, cosmic, cosmic. Uh, skill. Didn't even get close to anything I wanted there. I don't think I have any skill characters that I want to take up. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the six stars real quick and then we'll end off the video. I hope you guys uh, had some good luck for your season reward. So there we go with our six stars. Yeah, no one, no one on this list is going anywhere. So that's useless. And then what science maybe thing if I ever get him awakened. I mean, I did just awaken Red Hulk, but I don't want to take him to rank three, I don't think. Mr. Fantastic, no. Cosmic though, this is the guy. This is the guy we want. We even have Silver Surfer as well, who I have a Cosmic Awakening gem. If I needed the prestige, I could do that and take him to rank three eventually. But it's not looking like either of those are gonna happen, at least not this week. <laughs> Maybe at the end of Alliance Quest, or hopefully, I just wanna get it before Cyber Weekend so that I don't feel like I have to wail out and get what I need to get him to rank three. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know how you did with your rewards in the comments below. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.